Hi friends, it's Dana here. Today I have a story all about Tennessee. It is called V is for Volunteer, which is what the uh, Tennessee state is known for. It's called the Volunteer State. Now I'm wondering, have you ever been asked to volunteer for something? What does that mean for you? Does it mean, oh, you know, someone asked me to do something and I have to do it? Or does it mean that I chose to do it and I wanna do it because I think it's the right thing? It could probably mean either, but the true spirit of volunteering is when you think it's the right thing to do and so you do it even though you might not get paid or get uh, you know, a special reward or anything like that. It's truly an act of giving. It is an act of giving. <laughs> so let's read V is for Volunteer all about Tennessee through the alphabet and we will get to volunteer eventually. Here we go. A is for Appalachian Mountains, rising tall and grand. They're home to bear and eagle and where tulip poplars stand. B can stand for Beale Street, the birthplace of the blues. It's where people dance or tap their toes or dine on barbecue. C can be for cloggers, dancing to a country beat. They buck and chug to Rocky Top and quickly move their feet. <laughs> Daffodils and dogwood trees begin with the letter D. Their blooms tell us it's time for spring, a 100% guarantee. E is for Elvis Presley. It begins with E. He really loved to sing. He sang so well that people started calling him the king. F is for the flag we love, flying proud and straight. The three stars represent the grand divisions of our state. G is for Grand Old Opry, where country stars appear and fans take pictures of favorite singers to keep as souvenirs. Honey bees begin with H. They make honey thick and sweet. Use it with your toast or tea for a delicious treat. I is for the iris. Some think it's kind of weird. Our state flower has no hair, but yet it has a beard. Jubilee singers begins with J. They've performed so long ago, singing African-American songs and of chariots swinging so low. Knoxville starts with the letter K. They had a World's Fair there. People came from around the globe to learn and play and share. L is for Lookout Mountain. Its view is truly great. On a clear day, visitors can see into parts of seven states. The state bird is the mockingbird. It starts with the letter M. It mimics the songs of other birds and it sits upon a limb. Nashville begins with the letter N. It's the capital of our state. Lawmakers meet in the Music City to make Tennessee first rate. O is for opossum. Tennessee has quite a few. They have a pink nose and a long pink tail and a pouch like a kangaroo. P is for the presidents who served our country true. Andrew Jackson, James K. Polk, and Andrew Johnson too. Q can stand for Comfy Quilts, a pioneer art form. Stitched by loving hands with friends, they kept frontiersmen warm. R is for the raccoon with rings around its tail. 
His face makes people wonder if he ought to be in jail. Cutie. S is for Sequoia, and we should not forget he used marks called talking leaves to create the alphabet. The trail of tears begins with T. It traveled through Tennessee. 4,000 died when the government removed the native Cherokee. You, for, you can be for Unikite, a gem that is unique. It's often found in the Unaka Mountains, along roads or in mountain creeks. V is for volunteer. It's important for you to know when help is needed anywhere, Tennesseans are sure to go. Wilma Rudolph begins with W. Her story must be told. She overcame childhood polio to win Olympic medals of gold. X can be for Xanadu Cave, a dark place we all agree. The cave fish there do not have eyes because they do not need to see. Yes, Y is for Yodel. Some think it's hard to do, but all you really have to sing is yodel a hee -hoo. <laughs> The lovely zebra swallowtail begins with the letter Z. Now stop and think of all you've learned about our Tennessee. That is the end. In here, this book is so great. It has a mountain of facts in here. And you know what? I read the big words in here, but there's all sorts of little interesting facts throughout this book. I think it's fantastic. And if you go to the library, you should volunteer to go to the library and go and find out about Tennessee. Thank you so much for reading with me, friends. Go Vols. Bye. <laughs>